Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante, and we're here at the Hack Reduce event. This is the Cube, where we extract the signal from the noise. We bring you the smartest people that we can find and put guests in front of you, our audience. And we're here with Ming Sheng Hong, who's the chief data scientist at Hadapt, a good friend of the Cube's. Uh, Ming Sheng, great to see you here. The pleasure is mine. Great to see you again, Dave. Yeah, so this Hack Reduce event is really, there's a lot of buzz here. Uh, talk about what your feeling is about Hack Reduce. How are you involved, and you know, what's your role? Absolutely. So here's my understanding of Hack, Hack Reduce. This is about solving big data problems. Here are three key elements that you need to solve big data problems. First of all, infrastructure, software, and hardware, right? Secondly, data. And the last one is people, people with expertise, of course. And that's what Hadap has put together. They have a thousand node machine cluster. They have various interesting data sets from the city of Boston, from other private entities, across a wide domain of you know, verticals, financial service, healthcare, you know, public you know, infrastructure kind of data. So these are things that you know, people don't have easy access to before. And finally, talents. People who already have the kind of existing expertise and also people who are excellent technologists but are looking to get into the big, big data domain. And these are the people that we can train, we can motivate very quickly and get them involved in solving real problems in the public and private sectors. So Ming Sheng, you're an alpha geek, and I mean that as a compliment, right? I mean, you, you, you're really in the heart of it, you're a data scientist, you're a real technologist. What does it mean to someone like yourself, or young people coming out of college, what does it mean to have a resource like this, how important is that? I think this is tremendously valuable. I wish Hack Reduce were there when I was a grad student, or you know, when I was even in college. I think the value added is really, if you look at the university courses and also you know, training provided by, um, I would say, commercial entities, there's a huge gap in really providing both practical training, but also, I would say, neutral, technology-oriented, no vendor agenda. That kind of training and providing this kind of collaboration space where people can find good patterns, have interesting problems, and data sets to work on, it's tremendous, because we all know that, that you know, if you just by yourself going and reading different tutorials on tools, you're not going to get very far. Let's talk a little bit about Hadapt. We just had you uh, in on the Cube in Marlboro, and you did this great demo. Uh, Hadapt just won the, the Best Startup Award at the, the Strata plus a Dupe World Conference, so congratulations on that. Thank you. Yeah, and now, so, so how's it going post Strata? What's the reaction been? How are you feeling? It's been really exciting for us, Dave. So for Strata, we won the you know, demo showcase. We got incredible boost traffic, right? And uh, you know, people are really excited about the interactive performance we're bringing to Hadoop, the BI tools integration, and also the advanced analytic packages at the fingertip of the end users. All of those three elements together are addressing the needs of the business analysts, people who have the domain expertise, but not, they don't have the coding skill, you know, the skills to write, map, produce, or SQL jobs. And now they can leverage the power of Hadoop and the friends of Hadoop through you know, the power of Hadap in the integration with all those visualization tools. And you're not alone in this space. We saw uh, Cloudera made an announcement in a similar space, so that, to me that's a good thing. It's confirmation that the market needs it. It's very clear to me, Ming Sheng, and I'm sure you agree that the world wants to bring SQL and NoSQL together. They want to bring structured and unstructured together. They, want, they don't want to have to do these complex and massive and expensive ETLs. I was at IBM today, and Steve Mills showed a case study where a big bank in Europe, one of their big clients, essentially was using 28% of their cores to do massive ETLs. Total, total waste. Are we seeing the, the, the end of ETLs as we know them? I think ETL is definitely getting much simpler now. You no, know, people love the, the convenience and the simplicity of dumping data into, let's say, HDFS, right? And worrying about the schema later. That's one of the main advantages of Hadoop. And that's something that if you look at Hadoop and Hadap users, they can really take advantage of. Dump the data there, and when they start playing with the data, they find the structure, that's the time where they can optimize the storage of the data to to make future queries faster, but you don't want to spend days or weeks of upfront cost designing a good schema and running the ETL jobs to load the data. It just, you know, it's less agile these days. Ming Sheng, I want you to talk about Nasina, which is uh, your other little pet project. Tell us what that's all about and, and what your involvement is there. 
Well, so NACINA, it stands for New England Chinese Information Networking Association. It was started 17 years ago by a bunch of very successful industry leaders, entrepreneurs. One of them is a gentleman named Chen Wu. He founded uh, Aeropoint and a series of other companies. Aeropoint was acquired at the peak of the dot-com do, do bomb by, uh, by um, Cisco for almost $6 billion in cash. You know, hugely successful. Um, I am honored. I have been uh, volunteering at Nasina for a few years, and, and I'm taking on the volunteer um, president role for this annual term. And its missions are about promoting technology trends, such as big data, cloud, mobile, and so on, advancing the career sort of development through entrepreneurship and leadership educations, and finally, you know, giving the cultural identity of the organization, promoting bridging U.S. and Asia, especially China, you know, facilitating business exchange, but also extending market from both ends to the other side and bringing te uh, talent leads around. So you have an event coming up the end of this month, correct? Yeah, so we actually, this is something that's really exciting. Uh, on uh, November the 18th, it's a Sunday morning, we're going to have a big data conference where we have put together over 10 top-notch leaders from the Boston investment, industry, and academic communities. So we have keynote speakers, including Chris Lynch, uh, partner of Atlas Ventures, Steve Papa, as many of people know, founder of Indeca, and Sam Madden, who's the thought leader and the professor of MIT Computer Science. Uh, you know, he did a lot of big data projects. And we got two panels focusing respectively on product and business use cases, involving almost all of the hottest uh, startups uh, in the Boston area. So Excellent. Mick Shank, thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Uh, good luck with things that adapt. It's always a pleasure to see you. And uh, good luck with Hacker News. All right, keep it right there. We'll be right back after this.